Hey everybody, it's Dean DaCosta, the Search Authority. We're talking about a brand new tool to my attention anyway called TextLead. And we're going to open a bad boy up so you can see what it is. Basically, it's an email extractor, but it's really interesting. If you go on Google and then you push the button, it opens up this nice cool screen, which is really, really, really cool. Now keep in mind, I'm not, I haven't paid for anything, so this is all free. I'm going to pick on Instagram and I'm going to look for the word cyber. My email I'm looking for is a Gmail. I don't care about the number of pages delay for now because I'm just showing you all what it does because it's really quite interesting and we're going to start. And what's going to happen is you can notice I'm getting emails right away of different people. I'm also getting phone numbers right away of different people. A lot of them are out of the country, but we know that the word cyber is involved with the with what I'm looking for. In fact, cyber is involved with the email addresses. If you look real quick here, uh, not all of them, but some of them. Some say cyber. It's no big deal. A lot of people will put, you know, if they're cyber people, they'll put cyber dean at whatever. But a lot of them aren't. And so this is really, really, really cool. So let's try something else. Let's get rid of both of these. Let's put in the word cyber. And then put in the word Seattle. Just kind of curious what happens here. Let's start and see what we get. We may not get it. Oh, look at that. We got a couple. Well, we got me. Uh, we got a couple others. Boom, 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 boom. And we got some phone numbers. Wow, look, there you go. Um, now, what do you do with them? Well, you download them and you cross-reference the emails and phone numbers and try to figure out more about the people who may or may not be involved with them. But the key to remember is this is only a little bit of what you get. Um, so let's stop this. Let's zero everything out. Remember, I'm only picking on Instagram right now. Let's see what would happen if we go ahead and pick on Facebook. Let's pick on Facebook. We're still going to do Cyber Seattle. We're going to do Gmail. And we're going to start again. Now, now we're picking on Facebook. Oh, my God. Look at all this stuff we just got. Now, are these all exactly what we're looking for? We don't know for sure. But you know what? Could be. Could be. 18 phone numbers, 41 emails. I'm only on page three now. It uh, wouldn't be hard to bet to. Let's see. Let's see if, you know, we can download this one. We can go ahead and use a number of different tools to go ahead um, to go ahead and, and try to find more info on it. We can do almost anything we want. So this is a quick and easy way just to get emails and phone numbers from people. The better search you give it, the better information you give it, the better it'll do. So let's see what else we can do in here. Let's do, let's do this. Let's do Java, Amazon, Seattle, and see what we get. Let's start that. We're still going to do Facebook, do a search. So now we should be getting people that probably work at Amazon and have Java and that, and I'd be willing to bet you we did. Uh, just looking at these emails, there aren't, you know, are there recruiters do, are doing Java stuff? Yay. So, like Cloud Republic, I mean, so what we need to do is download the list, cross reference it, and see what they do, what they don't. We got phone numbers as well. So, we got some really cool information here. Um, in this case, we went 20 for 20 on both sides. So that's, that's really cool. This tells me it might have actually um, done anything. Now, we did a site source directly here. So, let's see what would happen if we do something a little different because I'm kind of curious just because I'm curious. So let's go ahead and get in here. So we're going to do this live, not in Memorex. We're going to go to Facebook, um, and we're going to go ahead and put in Java Developer, and we're going <clears> to <throat> open this bad boy up, and we're going to come over here to Groups. We're going to do a public group because private groups doesn't help us a whole lot. And let's just pick one. Um, blah, 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 blah. Let's pick this one because there's not as many people. And let's go into Members. Remember, 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 it's an old song. And let's go back here, oops, to where we have Google. And let's go ahead and add in this entire thing. I have no clue what's going to happen here. None. No clue. Just curious. And I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. And we're going to see what happens. I have no clue. Well, it got me me, and it got a bunch of phone numbers. Interesting. Okay, let's stop. Let's do it again. But let's add the gmail.com and see what it does. Start. Still phone numbers. So these are going to be phone numbers of the people that are part of that group because that's what I targeted. Um, it only got me one. E it only got me the one email. Let's see what happens if we do this. I'm being really a smart aleck using Boolean to just say, hey, no, any.com. Nope. Nope. And nope. So let's see. Let's try. Let's see. Let's do this now. Let's go ahead and get the name of this group. Let's get back here and, and let's uh, blah, blah, blah. let's go ahead and grab the name of the group, copy it, and let's go back over here and try something. See, I'm all about trying different things, so we're just going to try a different thing. We're going to do this. Oh, you know what? I just thought of something. 
let's try this again. And the reason I'm saying that is because I just realized I didn't have the actual site source, i.e. x-ray, in here. So let's see what happens if we do it now. Does it matter? It may not matter. It may do the same same thing. Yeah, it didn't do anything. So let's get this out. And let's go ahead and keep with the Facebook thing. Get it all the way out. But let's go ahead and put our keywords, keywords the actual title of the group but let's put it in um quotes so we know we're targeting that group let's get rid of all okay yay let's get rid of all this because we don't want to know we're targeting a group and let's see what we get <coughs> Ooh, we're getting some emails <coughs> getting some phone numbers sorry about that and so we are now targeting our group that could just be the only two that have gmail emails in that group okay so we did gmail Let's see what, what let's try hotmail.com and see oops we already know thank you for sharing let's try hotmail.com and see what we get see if maybe that gets us a few more start nope so that's it so that's doing that so let's see what would happen if we go ahead and take off the uh take off the brackets and just do that way and start again and see what we get uh page one Yep, not getting any hotmails. Doesn't surprise me much. I suspect this will be a Gmail thing. So let's try Gmail again. Now that we've changed a few things. Start again. Nope. So that idea didn't work. So what I'm trying to do is just determine what is the some of the better ways to search here. And it appears like... Uh, it appears like that's it. So let's try another place to search. Oh, you know what? Let's try LinkedIn. I always like pick on LinkedIn. LinkedIn.com. Let's pick Java developer. Let's get rid of the word group. Let's keep the word Gmail. Let's search. Could also be that I've reached my limit for the day. Yeah, it looks like I might have speech my limit. You do have a limit with the free one. So I probably reached my limit. That would be my guess. You can buy it, though, and you can buy it for whatever the price is. I don't even know. <clears throat> so you can buy it. It could also be Google's being stupid with the gotchas. Google loves being stupid with the gotchas. So let's try something. Let's go to Facebook, and let's see if it pops open for me. Nope. It, it, it always wants to go to Google, which means you are limited to that gotcha feel, which is what stinks. Please insert some keywords. So let's see. We, we, we've got now that there's a way around that with a VPN. You can get rid of the gotchas, but let's try uh, this again. Java. Oh, you know what? We have the Java developer group, and I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try doing it that way. I am going to keep the Gmail and start. Let's see. Page one showing me nothing. Oh, I'm on Instagram. That might help if I was on Facebook. Huh? Uh, Google not load feature might be a got capture. Yep, we're at the capture part of of Google where it wants me to say, hey, are you a human being? Uh, unfortunately, but let's try it again. See, yep, the cap, the gotcha. Unfortunately, Google is doing the gotcha thing with me. So let's let's see if we can fix that. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in Facebook. And it's not captioning me now. So now let's see if we can try it again. It's going to take me back to the full page. And we're going to go through it one more time. I'm still betting that the gotcha is what gets me. Let's just put in the word Java. Oops. And let's see what happens. Yep. We are in a capture thing. So that means you are limited based on Google and its capture thing. See, could not load Google search. There might be a capture on search page. Please click. Uh, preview button and complete capture. Okay, so let's see where's the preview button. <clears throat> preview button, do gotcha. And there we go. So now we got our way around it. Wasn't that cool? All right, so knowing that, now let's go back to our face Facebook thing that we were trying and go ahead. See, we're learning as we go. That's one of the reasons why I love doing this live. So this way we can learn as we go. Let's get rid of that WhatsApp. Don't care about it. Let's do a start probably gonna get one more oops forgot to do this let's capture those like that now let's start there ah oh, there we go there we go we got a couple we didn't get as much as we want search pages reached search with current words finished so again didn't help so let's see what happens if we take that off take out our oops take out our uh, little um 
take out our quotes <clears throat> and let's see what happens we try it again oh now all of a sudden we're getting boatloads yes misa like this sorry talking like jaja -Ja binks just an old thing anyway long story short there you go we found everything out so what we got is we can get around the gotcha cool we could pretty much do this on anything anywhere anytime instagram or wherever and what you do is you download your list of emails you upload it to zap info you upload it to swordfish you upload it to hire tool you upload it to seek out or anyone in a number of other places let them find the rest for you and you're good to go you got everything you need so long story short this is dean DaCosta. this is pixley leads and i'm the search authority may the source be with you